we were in the bottom of the first. Notre Dame took a 2-0 lead, and then lightning came, then the rain, then more lightning, and then on and off and on and off we went for six hours before we decided, hey, let's finish this one up here and get one game in today. I'm headed to Starkville for that job. This ball is lifted in the air to shallow left off the bat of Lamana. Diving catch by Morrell. Beautiful play by the left fielder, Easton Morrell, for the second out. Hot shot, and that'll get past the diving shortstop, Preisner, in the left field. Parker Kelly is aboard for the second time tonight. A walk and a single. And he smokes this one to left field for a base hit. So the Red Raiders have something brewing here in the top of the fourth. The end of the season. 2-2 two -two pitch, fastball, what else? Oh, a little extra giddy up on that one from Hampton. 96 miles an hour. That is a liner into center field, a base hit. So it will not be a 1-2-3 inning. Rail was looking for the second straight 1-2-3. Instead, Coleman is aboard with a single. That's it, strike three. <laughs> another frozen batter for Notre Dame, another backward K as Hampton strikes out the side. 12 punch outs. Up the middle, base hit. One run scores. Two runs will score. We're tied. It all works out for Tim Tadlock in Texas Tech. It took the better part of eight innings but the Red Raiders are on the board. Washburn now at 291 on the season. Runner goes and the throw is airmailed. That's Neri, the backup catcher, and into third on the slide is Swanson. And the Irish win a classic here in game one in Statesboro. Three to two, your final score.